what is going on my friends welcome back to another video it, it feels like a minute since i've actually sat down and filmed a review now today my friends we are going to be looking at the legendary comic book heroes conan this is a figure that i picked up off the back of my mezco conan uh pre-order falling through and if you know that figure is almost impossible to get for a reasonable price I say reasonable, I say like a little bit above retail, somewhat above, but uh, this, this this figure is uh, gone crazy, friends, and you know, I like Conan, and I want a Conan for my Marvel shelf, because you know, he's in the comics and stuff, we're not here to talk about that, so I went with this one, I figured this was the next best thing, and I got him for a decent price, uh, I got him for fair price, because there is some issues here, but Overall, uh, there he goes. <laughs> Overall, I like this figure. This is not the, the Conan I kind of really wanted. But this this is a, a Conan that I'm okay with. So for starters, I want to I say that he did not come with the sword. The sword I gave to him. I think I got this from the Motu Classics uh, Blade from the movie. I gave him the sword. And I just sent the camera flying. Now, uh... Not super poseable, this guy. This is the old, like, Marvel toys. Remember, like, the Savage Dragon and the Judge Dredd? I think they did a Madman. Uh, Witchblade, amongst other ones. The Pit Build-A-Figure. Yeah, this guy came in a two-pack. I don't have the figure that he came with. Wasn't uh, really into that. My, my chair is uh, trying to escape from me which is a weird sentence, but I, I, I digress, friends. Let, let's look at the figure. So for starters, you might be saying, uh, it looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. Objectively, it does look pretty good. There is a few issues I have uh, for starters. Now, I feel like, I don't know, is this, I don't know if this part is removable. I kind of feel like the person I bought this from I feel like they glued this cape in here. I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but I sort of feel that way. Because it just... It, it looks like it's meant to come out. But it doesn't. Oh, okay, whatever. Minor issue. Uh, the sword. I, what, what made me kind of want to remove the cape is I don't like how he has the sword. The sheath for the sword kind of going over the cape. I wanted to kind of put it underneath. Or, or something of the sort. But... I couldn't I couldn't get it obviously because it's attached and then uh, this whole setup here not a fan of that now maybe that's the way the figure comes I, I I don't know I can't I've never held this figure other than the one I have so I can't comment so maybe that's just how it comes okay it, you know it's Marvel toys we know uh, these figures tend to be super bow-legged bow-legged is that how you say it bow-legged how do you say it? Is it bow-legged or is it bull-legged? Settle, uh, settle this for me, friends, and let me know. Because um, maybe I've been saying it wrong all this time, like a damn fool. I've just been saying the wrong thing. I don't know. Let me let me know. You can see crotch splitting, uh, never comforting. I, I'm kind of debating giving this guy a hot water bath, but I kind of don't want to because I'm scared if I try to articulate him i'm really scared he's just gonna fall apart <laughs> i don't know why but whatever that's how he stands doesn't look great uh but again uh shed a tear for me and my mezco conan that was just not meant to be he's got the furry boots with some gold there they look fine don't really care for the sculpt of the feet but again it's it's these old like marvel toys you know i I've come to uh, I've come to know what to expect. I do have a couple of them. I think I have the Judge Death, and I have Mar from Sin City, and I have the Savage Dragon, and I have Witchblade, and I have a uh, Super Patriot. Super Patriot sounds right. Yeah. So I, I know what the deal is with these. Face sculpt is fine. I like the face sculpt. The face is actually probably one of the better parts of this figure, outside the axe which did come with the figure it's painted relatively nicely you know is this just wear and tear because this is an older figure and it's got the little chain and the chain does feel kind of real it makes it sound like it's real but it's not real i know that 
But yeah, the axe looks fine. And like I said, the axe did actually come with the figure. The 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 axe would have been a deal breaker if, if I wouldn't have bought one without the axe because I think this is it looks so cool and uh, I just love this accessory. You know, so the sword was like, uh, it's like, okay, it's a compromise. I'll take it. It doesn't have the sword, but I'll take it. I'll deal with it. But the axe was like, gotta have the, gotta have the axe or, out, uh, or else, uh, no Conan. Articulation, not really a lot to scoff about. The head moves side to side. Get a little forward and back. The, the body, the ab crunch is, uh, good. <laughs> almost too good. Almost unnecessarily good to the point where it almost doesn't want to move back he almost wants to stay hunched forward uh just because i think these knees and these legs are so buttery soft that they can barely support the figure the arm does move it's really stuck i'm not going to try to force it uh he does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbow wrist rotation and no wrist hinge no wrist hinge but he hinges kind of down there and we got a waist twist and the legs i'm not even gonna get into the legs are supposed to articulate out like he, he would have you know all, all the articulation of a toy biz marvel legends or a toy biz marvel toys figure that's 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 what he would have uh his little loincloth there whatever you want to call it i call it a loincloth you can call it something else it's painted green. Traditionally, it's more of a brown, but whatever, I guess. Am I going to paint it? Probably not. Uh, and then he's got this furry cape, which I don't care for the cape. I think I could actually, I think I could actually almost do without the cape, because I don't think Conan traditionally wears a cape. Uh, maybe this is supposed to be one specific version or one specific design of Conan. I'm not really sure, but it's it's okay i i like it i wish the i wish the thighs were a little better but you know it it, it is what it is it, you know it is what it is i wish he, he is he is loose he does i feel like uh someone like i feel like some kid definitely uh enjoyed their conan they definitely played with conan and had fun with conan and that's that's cool you know that's what toys are for i get it it's a cool figure it's not the it's not the conan of my dreams but it's pretty good i'm gonna put him with my marvel legends you know my savage avengers i think it'll do the trick but might have to uh if we ever get another mezco conan and i already know there was a second one but i, I didn't pre-order that one because i already had paid the first one in full and it fell through, so I didn't get that one. So I missed both Conans now. If we ever get a third Conan, you know, I, I, I can't say I still wouldn't get it. Let me fix the camera there. Uh, but this is a good figure for now. And I think I think a good figure for now is the only really positive I could say about this. And I think I think that's just okay. And I think we're going to leave it at that, friends. Yeah, be better figure, a decent figure, but it just so happens that my version is not as good as what I think it should have been. But sometimes that happens when you go on eBay and you roll those eBay dice and you buy a secondhand figure. You know, you can only get so much from the description. And again, that's what happened here. The description was honest, but I kind of disregarded it. And such is life, you know. Like I said, if we ever get, if I ever get another chance at Mezco Conan, I'll probably take it. But for now, I, I like this. Uh, yeah. And speaking of light, I hope you liked this review, friends. If you could be so kind to drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Of course, feel free to dislike too, because it's okay to, it's okay not to like something. You don't have to like every single thing. So that's totally cool. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. We are on the road to 500. We're, we're, we're working there. We're growing. We're growing a little bit every day. Not every day, but every couple of days, you know, we get a little bigger. We get a little smaller, but we're working on it. So again, if you're watching the video anyway and you're not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know 
what you think of this figure. You know what you think of this video. Let me know if you got uh, Mezco Conan. Uh, feel free to tell me how much better it is than this one. That's okay, because I'm not bitter about it. But uh, that is going to be it, my friends. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your continued support. I, I truly, truly appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch my videos and leaves me a comment. You truly are wonderful. Thank you so much. Have yourselves an awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. And bye.